We've done so much so far, but we have a few tweaking to do to make our blog look pretty solid. Um, and we're gonna do some internal linking later on, probably in the next video. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But we've already picked our niche, set up a log. We already have our blogs being created, uploaded. So it's pretty sweet. Your website might look like this, but ultimately we want to adjust it so that it looks pretty good, so like this. So now I have my featured image here. We have the best roof out layment, key takeaways. We have our product roundups. If you didn't watch that in the last video, um, you definitely want to do that. But ultimately, this is pretty good. I mean, it's, and then we have our related post. And so in order to create that, go from something like th this to this, we need to do a few things. So go open one of your posts. So like one of your blog posts like this, go to customize, and then you're going to go down to blog and single post. And then this is where we can make some adjustments. So as you can see here, we have quite a few different settings we can mess with. We can also mess with the post area. So if we click on the post area, you can see there's a banner and then a layout number two. So depending on how we adjust this, we can see that it, it changes it just a little bit. So the H1 or title is in it versus being out of it. So that's one. We can add some featured images. So here we have a featured image that is listed. We have the meta, we have the uh, all sorts of different things. So we definitely want to add uh, the different images and make sure that featured image is selected. Um, I believe it's off on the, as default. So you definitely wanna turn this on. Uh, you can add some other things, like if you wanna add the meta tag description, you can. I don't really think it's needed. I do add breadcrumbs. Uh, I don't add breadcrumbs. I actually added, um, what did I add? I added something. We'll, we'll check it out. So this is what I have with my settings so that you can model it, I guess. So if we go to the post area, you can see that we have quite a few different settings here. We have the banner layout, and then we have, there's another option to have it like this. I don't like that, so I'm gonna actually have it pulled up like this. And then you can see that right here, it has the name, so I have the title. I can remove that, but that doesn't look good. Uh, the meta description, and then I have some other things. So I have, you can have the featured image behind, which I have, or none. I don't think that looks good. I like it full width and behind like this. I think it just looks cleaner personally. Uh, full width makes it too large, especially since it's a big image. Um, so they're, they're just, you need to tweak what you think looks good. And so you can adjust the different sizes here for the featured image. And then this is the meta description. So I don't really need this actually, because I believe if I have this on, and then I have actually these on, you'll see that right here should have the date and then the time. And I don't want really anyone to click on this. So it, there's really no reason to have this meta. Um, I don't have comments and I don't wanna move anyone to go to a different, I guess, area. So I'm just gonna take off the meta description. I don't think it's really needed, but you know, I'm not a SEO expert, so yeah. If you are, then maybe do what works for you. So what else can we adjust? I mean, overall, this looks pretty solid. I'm sure there are some other things like spacing we could adjust, but overall, I think it is a, definitely a good experience. If we look at my other settings here, I do have content default related posts. I do have that checked because I do want, say if someone's coming down here and they want to look at asphalt or another thing, then I definitely want that. I do have uh, the comments unchecked. If we look at the mobile we can see how this looks too so probably want the, the title a little bit smaller for mobile those all look good h i would say the h1s in the mobile version probably need to be a little bit smaller but i think overall it looks pretty good maybe some spacing in here it does say cons and pros so i mean that's another thing and then it has pros and cons here, which is interesting. But overall, I think it just, I would say that the major thing is, is just the H1 
here on the um, for uh, the this because it can't really it's too big. So we'll definitely adjust that. And what we want to do is look for your customization. We're going to go to global. We're going to go to typography. And then these are all the settings we can change. The H2 font, the H3s. So as you can see, depending on if it's mobile or desktop, you can change all of these settings. So a lot to do here. Uh, right here, you can see that the font for H1s is 36. We can make this much larger, much smaller. Just depends on what works for you. Uh, you can change the fonts here to be larger for your H2s. So if you wanted, say, an H2 to be, and you can see the sizing here, 45 versus 30, there is definitely some options to do that. And it updates it, uh, you know, for you. So just be mindful of that. You can publish it once you have your changes and you can see what they look like using uh, the typography and it will make all the adjustments here. So very neat stuff um, and you can use it too. So I hope this was helpful. Go ahead and change your settings, adjust your style uh, based on what you want. I use obviously um, this style, but maybe you it doesn't work for you. Maybe you don't like the images behind. Check what works for you, what doesn't, and uh, that's about it. So I want to show you guys a few other posts real quick to see how they all look up. So these were all of the eight posts that took like a few minutes each to write. It looks like eight minutes each. I can preview these to see if they all are kind of congruent. I mean, that looks pretty fantastic. We got our gutters here. I could probably make these boxes. I'm going to probably put these key points uh, to be not like five different ones, probably like zero, so that they don't have to scroll as much and they can just go click on buy now. Because I have the information right here, right? So it's, it's kind of repetitive to have it both. But pretty solid stuff. We have our second one. Looks pretty good. Ventilation all through here. Uh, yeah, solid, solid, solid. So that's it, guys. Uh, definitely go through your website. Make sure that it looks pretty solid. Also, check to see all the different styles. So if like you're more of a uh, mobile user, you definitely want to check to see how the mobile experience is. Like, for instance, on the mobile, all of the dots aren't there, which is pretty nice, actually. I like that. Um, but on the desktop, it's uh, it isn't. So... Yeah, it looks pretty solid. So like I said, just check through all your different views, see if it's something that uh, works for you. And then if it doesn't, so yeah. So I definitely probably wanna remove those, uh, the AAWP, which I can just do through uh, the settings here. I believe it's either the output maybe. Number of list points. I'll probably just put zero here. And there it is. So I think that will adjust that. I can probably uh, have this button too, like some changes. So all sorts of different changes you can to make. Um, just see what works best for you and uh, add it to your site. Because we're trying to, yeah. So it, it did take out the, um, the little dots, which is perfect. It has buy on Amazon. Nice little button here, and it has a little prime thing, which is pretty sweet. So all things to uh, definitely look at. But that's how you adjust your um, post to update your product reviews and really start the process going. So now you have like a full site. Like we're creating content, doing roundup posts, affiliate links already attached. Uh, your Pinterest is already linking out to and posting. I guess the next thing to do is really just join our community. We have a free community in the, in the description. Join our Discord and uh, you know get some work from us because we need people to create content. So that's it, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.